Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously in day 306, we did some exercise about this simple uh, building form, but where the wall uh, connect to the roof, um, it's not quite right. So today, let's just do another one. Okay, so let's start. Um, first, create a project. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new wall. So WA, edit type, duplicate. So I'll call it a timber cladding wall. So edit structure and then, so let's have a look of these structures. So for the structure, it will be um, timber. Okay, and change it to 90 and also insert another layer go down so this will be the plasterboard um or gy 10 mil okay so gap uh, maybe depending on the the button size i'll i'll give it 40. so finish this will be the timber cladding so just let's create a new material i call it um, timber cladding okay so and also maybe just give it a fill pattern so oh, sorry surface pattern go model maybe 150 horizontal yeah okay okay and change the thickness so maybe 20 so all down okay and okay so now we can create some more so like this okay so let's go to 3d view and so these are timber cladding wall, so internal plasterboard board, plaster board and external timber cladding. So select all these wall, I'll change the height to 3 meter or 4 meter. And then just like uh, last time, let's create a roof. So it will be a uh, flat. So make sure uncheck the defined slope. And also there will be two roof. Okay, so one. I'm going to just quick create a 50 mil. So this will uh, rep represent the the metal clad metal metal roof sheet and also the all the top hats. Okay, so I'll just change this to maybe four and I'll give it a material and a metal. Uh, I'll maybe just create a new one. So create a new material metal roof shade so also give it a pattern so model pattern 150 vert there's no vertical here so uh, i'll just duplicate this one so duplicate this change rename it vertical and change this angle to 90 degrees and okay and okay so all good okay so um change this to maybe 50. okay okay so now use the uh, pick walls tab select make sure it's ex external side of this walls and finish and attach yes please so now we have a, a 50 mil roof and then let's just add some uh, split line okay so oops sorry split line make sure you pick the edge here to here another one here to here and then escape once and then click on this edge drag it up click on this edge drag it up click on this edge drag it up okay so maybe just down a little bit. So that's that's it. So now finish. So now we just need to copy it down. So depending on the, the thickness of the structure. So for example, if, if I need 300, I'll just copy it down by 300 and then edit type of it. I'll just create duplicate. This time let's create a 300 mil. So this will be a structure and then I'll create a new material. Uh, hang on, let me just search the timber. Maybe I'll duplicate this from this timber one. So 
I'll call it a timber roof structure. And OK. And I'll change it to 300. And OK. And OK. So now you will see this, this roof, the structure match the top uh, roof. OK. So, so uh, last time, what we did is we joined them. And then we uh, sw switch join order. So this way, so from outside looks perfect, right? But if we cut a section, so so here I cut a section box, you will see it's not quite right. So this roof, see this roof structure sits on the side of the roof, but in reality, I believe it's more like this. So see, uh, I'll just draw another one. So it should be more about uh, like a structure of the roof and oh, sorry a structure of the wall sitting uh, uh, supporting this roof, uh, roof structure and then you will have some finish to finish this and maybe a roof some roof on the top okay so and then you might have some facial uh, board or flashing things Okay, so um, now let's have a look at this. So we, so what we need to do is we need to adjust. So let me just unjoin this, unjoin the roof. So um, shade. Okay, so um, actually my idea is we just need to adjust the lower this 300 roof offset it to to match this face of the uh, the face of the core the the structure and then we can attach this to this roof okay so um okay let's do it so first actually i'm going to show you uh, some a way i first um i thought but uh it uh, turns out it turned out that uh, it's not that easy. So the first method I think about is because this roof, because this 300 roof, we copied this from the 51. Okay, so this is the one we copied from the previous one. So if I, if we edit footprint, you will see we we don't have any relation from the wall. We can't do it. Um, if we so for example if we um, even if we move this so by 60 which is the from the core of the wall to the core of, uh, face of the wall so if, if if we move this by 60 and if i finish it let's have a look so what happens Go to 3D view and I'll attempt to hold this one. I don't know, maybe. Yep, so you will see um, it's, it's a bit hard to see. Hang on, let me just do a section box here. HR. So you will see that now the roof, the roof is the lower roof. See, the lower roof. It's not matching, so slope, even the slope is different. See, and you will yeah, which means you will need to adjust them manually. So, and that's uh, that's quite a bit of work. So I don't think this is a good way to do it. And also, if I move this, if move this wall, you will see. No, this roof is not following. Okay, so let me go control Z, control Z, control Z, and control Z, and control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. I just need to see the sketch of the roof. So, um, I'll just control Z finish finish this uh, sketch okay so now 
So what I'm going to do is I try to keep this footprint. So keep this footprint as the same, uh, same to the previous one, same to the top one. But instead of that, I, I do anything to the footprint. I'm going to use a opening tool. Okay. So let's do it. So before that, I'm going to make sure this roof is following my wall so let's have a look yes currently it is okay so now let's go to the top view and under architecture you can use the vertical opening okay and pick this roof and then draw, let's draw a rectangle and then draw a um a rectangle and lock them onto the edge of the uh, wall or or the roof and um, actually I noticed that I can't create a, a sketch inside a sketch so Revit will tell me you can't sketch roofs within other roofs so at least for this opening I can't do it this way so which means um, that's 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 okay so what I can do is, so I'll just offset a 60 and then I'll use some dimension to lock the, lock the, lock this uh, sketch. So I, I can always have this 60 dimension here. What I'm going to do is I'll just uh, break this end. So I'll just trim this. And here I'll create a lock, pick another one, lock with lock, and trim it. So now we have this is one opening and I finish it. And then create another opening, vertical opening, pick this roof. And then once again, I'll just draw a um, draw a rectangle. And where's my 60? I think it should be this one. And then lock, lock, and here. Where is it? Where's the lock? Here. And then select this edge. Topping 60. Oh, maybe just add. Sorry add a dimension and a lock it okay so now finish it so with these two vertical opening my roof is my uh, the low lower 300 thick roof is now uh, cutting back and also it still match the previous uh, upper roof okay so now if i go cut a section box of this roof and so you will see so this roof i'll just hr okay so so you will see this stop here and then I, we can tap select all this wall attach attach on this one and just have a look of this one so i think it's probably because of the um let's have a look so edit type edit yeah, change this. Maybe change this to um, to uh, this is one. Maybe I'll change it to one instead. And okay, so yeah, that's better. So see now that's that's it. All this wall structure supporting this roof structure, but uh, with the finish go up, and that's a roof. And also, um, when you can still adjust the wall, so you will see the roof. Uh, hang on, let me just do a section box and cut this a little bit. So, so you will see if you move the if you move the the wall, the roof will follow. So both roof will follow the wall. And if you adjust the roof, so for example, I uh, I need to change the height of this end 
go down a little bit. So you just need to click on this roof as well and then edit element. Click on this edge, drag it back. So you will be able to uh, see, match this, match the upper roof. So once finish, all good. Okay. So um, yeah, maybe it's a little bit complicated. Most of the time, we don't really um, do it this way. We probably just model one piece of roof and attach to the roof and then cover the edge with some fascia board or something. Um, or you even use paint. But yeah, if you really need to see some of this, but this is one of the way. I believe there's other way, even easier way. But if if you know, please let me know. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I'll see you see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Bye.